Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and um, I got something I'm very excited to share with you today. I purchased these from eBay uh, like three or four days ago. I'm surprised they got here that quickly. And um, these are what they, the Jack and Zally, Sally Z Clay's uh, uh, artwork. And this magazine is one that I had kept because it has a Nightmare Before Christmas cover on it. And this one is, uh, it says Happy Halloween 2004. So this is Halloween time 2004 from the Disney store. And I recognized them when I saw these on eBay. Somebody had them and they're brand new. Uh, I recognize them from seeing them in this magazine way back in 2004. At the time, I would have been pretty young. I didn't have that kind of money to be spending on things like that. Um, plus, they were just so expensive, I probably wouldn't have spent that much anyway. Let me find those again. Lots of cool things in this magazine. But anyway, here they are. So, this one says Jack and Sally Z Clay. Hand signed by Trisha B. Benson. And as you can see, they were priced separately. Jack was $495 and Sally was $495, which is, you know, a lot uh, for a piece of artwork. So, oh, she's a Simpsons animator. Huh. Anyway, it just says there, Nightmare for Christmas, Sally makes an unlikely and thoroughly romantic leading lady in this lovely moonlight portrait. And Jack has his eye on a new holiday. Former Simpsons. Animator Trisha B. Benson was inspired by the works of Alphonse Mucha. I have no idea if I, how to pronounce that. And the Art Nouveau movement to create these striking portraits. Individually hand numbered, each is framed with a three quarter inch wide beige linen mat and one and a half inch wide dark brown molding accented with bronze highlights. They're 30 inches high by 15 inches wide. And the image is 34 inches high by 19 inches wide is the frame, sorry. The image is 30 by 15, the frame is 34 by 19. And it's a, it's a Z-Clay on canvas. And a Z-Clay is like a, a higher end version of like a lithograph. Uh, Z-Clays are typically more expensive and a little higher quality than what a lithograph would be. So that kind of gives you an idea of the quality of these things. And of course, being $495, you would expect it to be very high quality. So anyway, I picked these up off of eBay, the pair, which are in this box, for a fraction of that cost. So I was very excited to get these because um, they were are so expensive. I was able to get them at a more affordable price. So I'm gonna take these out of the box. And see, it's still wrapped in the plastic. And this one is Sally. And the, the it does have a little bit of texture to it. I don't want to touch it too much. But there is some texture to the print here. It almost looks like an oil painting. Um, like a fresh oil painting. So it, it is really, really cool. Looks better than just like a screen print. And so I'm going to take this plastic off. Anyway, I have Sally out of the packaging. It's got Jack's house there in the background. And this frame, I can't tell if that's, it feels like a plastic, but it's, it's a nice plastic. It's not, I'm pretty sure it's not wood. At least it doesn't feel like it's wood. So I don't, but anyway, it's very nice. Um, I like the matting on it. It looks like it's an oil, like a frame you would put on an oil painting. There is no glass on here. And with oil paintings, you wouldn't normally have glass. With this being a Z-Clay, I don't know if it we should put glass on it. I thought I read somewhere where they recommend that you do. But this one is doesn't have glass on it, and there's really no way to... It doesn't look like there's much of a way to put glass in this frame. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's from 2003... Uh, I guess it's not been exposed though. Um, it looked like it was brand new, obviously, with all the package on it. It was brand new, so it was probably stored in a box away from light. So I'm not sure. And Z-Clays are supposed to be able to um, resist fading. 
uh, more so than other types of prints. So um, I'm not sure if what would be best for me to do. I'm just going to leave them as they are and hope for the best. So there's Sally. So now I'm going to grab Jack. I'm just going to set him like so here's Jack, and you see the Christmas tree door back behind him there. So there's Jack, and then I'm going to pull him out of his packaging. All right, I got Jack out of the box and uh, or off his packaging off, and so here he is. <clears throat> He, there was some like yellow powder all over the plastic. I don't know what it was, but it gave me some coughing fits here. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, and I kind of wiped it off with a, a dry towel here to get the some of that little powdery stuff off. Not sure what that was, but anyway, up here, it, this right here is kind of gets wider as it goes down, so it's not quite right that the top of the padding there but other than that it's uh it's pretty nice the bottom looks good I'm not sure why they didn't get the, the top quite right but yeah the top's kind of crooked it doesn't look super terrible so um yeah these are really 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 nice but Jack and Sally both there So I was very pleased to get those. And then I'm going to show you, um, oh, also these are also numbered 148 out of 395. So it's a limited edition of 395. And both of them have the same number, which is really cool. And they did come with a certificate of authenticity right here. And this one is for Jack and Sally's is in there as well. It says the publication is 2003, and it was there in that 2004 uh, Disney catalog. And uh, Jack's was in there as well. Or, uh, Sally's certificate is also in here. So, Jack and then now Sally. So that's really nice to have those as well. And then here they show some of her other works. Uh, I really like this... Uh, the Jack and Sally one together. That one's really nice, but probably will never get one of those because they're just too expensive. So these are the two I ended up with. And then they also have, uh, she also has Tinkerbell. And I believe she also made an Oogie Boogie as well that I probably will never get, never see. But who knows? I mean, we'll see. Maybe one of these days I might come across one of those. I've seen prints online, but just the prints, they weren't framed. So what's great about these is that they were already framed. So that's something I don't have to worry about in a cost I don't have to have to look into as well. So getting them already framed was pretty cool. And I'm going to show you a couple other things that I have. Okay, the other thing I was going to share with you is these really nice um, limited edition 25th anniversary uh, Jack and Sally dolls and these were um, on the Disney store and I bought these on sale because they were pretty pricey to start with. I'm just going to take them out of these bags here. When I first ordered these, they came in this huge box. I don't know why they used such a big box to ship them. Must have been the only thing they had at uh, Disney Store. But um, they, it was at the neighbor's house, and I had to go to the neighbor's house to go get it because they had they misdelivered it. But I, I ordered these. Uh, it's not been a terribly long time ago. It's been a few months. So here they are. And here they say limited edition, one of 3,000. So there's 3,000 um, of these. 
and it's got this plastic over the and it's neat because the boxes are shaped to go side by side to each other so let's open up Jack first here he is here and it's got this plastic insert there it just pops right off so the nice thing about these is is that you can take them out of the box to display them without damaging the box and then they can just go right back in when if you want to you know sell them storm or whatever it is you want to do so it's not going to devalue it too much just to take it out of the box because you can pop it right back in there um, without do, altering anything so that's really nice so I'm gonna take him out of the box and then I'm gonna take Sally out of the box and I'll set them up together over here okay now I have them um, out of the box and we have Jack over there um, he is considerably taller than Sally as you can see here and her gait is a kind of a different color than his and is slightly shorter so they're not quite meshing up like they should but um, still pretty cool and I guess one of the biggest complaints on these was that if you just wanted one or the other they kind of made it awkward to display because if you just have Jack you got like half a gate here and so um, that was one of the complaints was that these are sold separately but you almost need to buy them together in order to complete the display so I can kind of see that, you know, if you just wanted a Jack or a Sally, and as expensive as these are, you may have only been able to get just one of them. But it's odd, though, that the gate color is slightly different. One's more of a silver color, a pewter stainless steel, I don't know, just silvery colored. And the other one's more bronzy, um, oil rub bronze type color. And then even the bases are... They're pretty close. Sally's is a little bit more heavier on the purple. Um, so a little bit lighter. But other, other than that, you know, they still look nice together. So um, I can't remember what these retailed for, but they weren't cheap. And I got them on sale for about, I think, like half off or so. And so this one is $13.46 at $3,000. Here's the certificate of authenticity. And this one is for Jack. And Sally, I have, is number 757 of 3,000. So Jack's kind of like almost double that. So um, as far as the addition I, or the, the number I got. So, so there's those. And then these are made to where you can take their head off and replace it with a different one. And for Sally, the masks. So let's see if we can't take her mask off. I'm going to set the camera down for just a second. I want to drop it, her uh, mask here. Oh yeah, it just pulls right off. It pulls right off. It's um, magnetized. There's that face. And then I'm just going to slide on a different one. I'll take this one and put that on her. Yeah, that just like magnetizes right on there, the mask does. So there's that. And you can rotate her head. And her outfit's like this, like, velvety type, felty type stuff. And, um, oh, the socks are actually cloth as well. They're not, uh, resin. Yeah, they're little cloth socks on. Her hair's a little bit wiry, but it's, you know, the, it's hard to, Sally's hair, it's either they do yarn, or if they do, like, a, this type of material, it's hard to keep it from getting too straight out and so there's that one and then for Jack see if how his head comes off oh it pulls right off too it's also magnetized there's a magnet down there and it just it just comes right off which is nice and I'm gonna put this one on him there we go and his head's kind of got this like greenish cast to it grayish green cast to it And so do his hands, so they, they got that color consistency there as far as what tone they were using. Um, he doesn't really pose too much. I don't know. He just kind of stands there kind of stiff. Uh, his arms move back. Oh, whoa. 
I don't want to pull him off of there. His arms move forward and back. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. I don't think his elbows do anything. I'm too afraid I'm going to break it to try. It doesn't feel like his elbows are articulated. So he kind of just stands there. So there's those. And um, I have a couple other dolls that um, I can show you. They're in my cabinet. I purchased them years ago off Craigslist. They were also, I think, a limited, a limited edition doll set. And I'll kind of just show you through the glass. Uh, maybe one day I'll be able to pull them out and do a video on a closer up on those. But I can at least show them to you through the glass so you kind of get an idea to compare and contrast these dolls to those. And they did not come with like this type of stand with the um, gate background there. And the stand is stuck to the this piece here. So it's not something you, you insert on your own. It was already there and it's glued in. So that's pretty much the stands they provided for these dolls. And definitely these are not, these are definitely collector dolls for well, the price would suggest that they are. But also, I mean, they're not made to be played with. So this is not for a little kid to play with. Um, it's not meant for that. So these are definitely collector dolls. And I'll go show you those other two. Anyway, guys, here's the other two dolls that I have that I was talking about. It's pretty dark in here. I'm not sure why I got the lights on. But, uh, but uh, here's uh, the Jack and the Sally back there. And they just kind of stand stiff too. In fact, the Jack looks a lot. The body of the Jack looks a lot like that Sally that's in there. Just kind of hand, hands down at his sides. Just kind of stands there. And there's Sally back there with also like a clothy type dress on. Looks like the same kind of hair too. Uh, so that's those in there. And unfortunately the back of the case is, is back here and there's a case behind it. So um, it's really hard to get to those right now. And eventually I will be changing up my rooms because it's just such a mess right now. It's overflowing and I'm going to have to expand out of this room with the with the new stuff and I'll make sure to do a video of that as far as showing my, my completed collection room um, once it's finished but that's probably going to be so way in down in the future so but here's Jack and Sally there the other two set of two dolls that I have and I also have a um, I got those from Craigslist they were pretty expensive too I think they were a limited edition but I'm going to show you a couple other dolls that I have. This one back here. And his face is like a vinyl material. It's not that hard resin that the two dolls, um, the limited edition of 3,000 dolls that I just showed earlier, uh, they have like a resin uh, head. His is more of a vinyl material. At least I think it is. And this one is the Medicom, I think. I want to say it's the Medicom replica. And I have his box somewhere. So I... And he just comes on that like plastic stand back there. But as far as looks go, I think he's the best looking doll that I have. And he, he stands about probably, uh, he's a little bit taller. Yeah, he's considerably taller because I got him hunched over here than the, other, than the other dolls. So he's really, really, really cool. I love this doll. The only thing maybe I uh, wish they would have done was painted his nostrils black. But other than that, he is super cool. And then I have another doll over here that's also... I think it's Medicom, and uh, he's got his teeth showing here, uh, the yellow teeth there, which is really cool. But this is the Santa Jack version, and there's his bag of toys down there. And this doll over here came with these heads. I'm hoping maybe to do a video of him up close, but he also he came in a coffin-shaped box with a like a purplish uh, satin lining. Um, and there's like two other ones. One comes with the black lining and one comes with the red lining. And I don't know if maybe you guys know the difference between the color of linings. It seems like the red lining one has the most value. And I'm not sure why because they all the dolls look the same to me. So I'm not sure. But anyway, there's his, all his heads. Sorry about the dog barking. The dog's barking. But um, these heads here 
apparently his head is interchangeable. I've not changed him out, but uh, he, all the molds of these heads look great. I put them in this plastic container here, but they, they also come lined up out in the, uh, in the box he comes with, so you can see them. But yeah, it's very cool. Different expressions there. I think the, these dolls are better, as far as looks go, as looking like the character of Jack, are way better than the dolls over there in the case on the other side and the um, the dolls, uh, the limited edition dolls I just showed earlier. I think these these Medicom ones are way nicer. So if you're going to spend, you know, good money on a nice a nice doll and you just want one really nice doll I would go with these they're so nice I think oh I think mine was the Barnes and Noble I think the purple lining might be the Barnes and Noble exclusive maybe that's what it was I think it was an exclusive to something like that because I think my husband bought he bought this one for me and maybe that's what the difference between the liners is so anyway guys um uh, oh well I can show you this while I'm over here the dog would start barking. These, uh, Jack and Sally back there, Sally in the wedding dress, and I'm hoping to do a video of this up close too, um, is from the Bradford Exchange or um, Ashton Drake, I think. Might be the maker of these, but she looks really, really nice. I love her dress. I think the dress is super cool. Jack, on the other hand, uh... He's not the greatest, I'm going to say. Um, I think his head's a little too big. The mold of his head is not great. His bow tie looks too small. His chest looks too wide. I I'm just not loving Jack. The reason I bought these dolls was for Sally. I thought she looked super... And they come together. I thought she was really, really nice. But anyway, guys, uh, that's going to conclude this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!